Saudi Arabia is working on the line, the world's most ambitious mega project. Satellite images and drone videos have shown that they've been digging the foundations for the past few months. However, there's now a big rumor that the line is being scaled down significantly. Could this be the beginning of the end of the project? Will it be abandoned altogether? Today, we'll look at what's been happening with the line. Overview of the line. Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman announced the line in 2021. You might already know about it, but here's a quick reminder. It's a futuristic city planned to be 500 meters tall and 170 kilometers long, stretching through the Saudi Arabian desert. Building it would be like constructing 5,601 World Trade Centers lined up in a row. This massive structure would house nearly 10 million people, with no cars or greenhouse emissions, running entirely on renewable energy. The line would also feature advanced artificial intelligence to monitor crime and deploy security forces in real time. The line is part of a larger Saudi Arabian project called NEOM, which includes other mega projects like the Trojana Winter Resort, the Oxagon Port City, and the Sindala Luxury Island. Recently, they announced even more projects, such as the giant Epicon Hotel, the upside-down skyscraper called Vault, and an incredible venue carved into a mountain known as Hegra. When you see all these NEOM projects, it feels like looking into the future. However, when the line and similar projects were first announced, many people questioned whether such ambitious plans could be realized. Will the line actually be built? Many people doubted the line, thinking it was just a publicity stunt with fancy 3D renders and big promises that wouldn't come true. This skepticism is common with mega projects. But to everyone's surprise, work began last year. Satellite images showed large-scale excavation for the entire 170 kilometers length of the line, visible even from space. While the rest of NEOM is planned to be finished by 2030, the line was always meant to be built in stages, potentially taking 30 years to complete. Saudi Arabia aimed to have a part of it ready by 2030 to house 1.5 million residents. Recent drone footage from February 2024 showed off the massive construction site calling it the world's largest earthworks operation. However, in the past few weeks, rumors have started to spread. Is the line still moving forward? Is the line still going to plan? Here's the latest buzz. Andy Yoma might be forced to downsize the line into a much smaller version, a so-called mini line about 2.4 kilometers long. That's barely 2% of the original plan, accommodating only about 300,000 residents. This suggests the original plans might have been too ambitious. 18 months ago, we speculated whether Saudi Arabia could build it, but not at the grand scale they envisioned. This mini line seems to fit that idea. While this downsizing hasn't been officially confirmed by Annie Olin, Bloomberg reported it in April after seeing secret documents and speaking to an insider. According to this source, the downsizing is mainly due to a lack of funds. The original project was expected to cost around a trillion USD, but by September 2023, Saudi Arabia's public investment fund, the main backer, had less than 20 billion USD available, partly due to heavy spending on NEOM and struggling oil prices, Saudi Arabia's main income source. This situation is reminiscent of the Jeddah Tower, another ambitious Saudi project that was halted in 2018 due to financial issues when it was less than halfway done. Although construction is set to resume on Jeddah Tower, finishing it will cost less than a billion dollars, while completing the line would require closer to a trillion dollars. To put that into perspective, Saudi Arabia could build another thousand Jeddah Towers for the same cost as the line. If they struggled with one tower, building the line in its entirety seems daunting. So what's next? Saudi Arabia might build the 2.4 kilometers stretch first and complete the rest later, but they'll need significant foreign investment to make it happen. Foreign investment. Securing investment is easier said than done. Recently, Saudi Arabia sent NEOM officials to Shanghai and Beijing to show images and animations of the line to attract foreign investors, but no major deals were made. Investors were unimpressed. After failing in China, NEOM officials planned to charter private jets to bring in bankers and investors from around the world. They hope some will invest, but raising a trillion dollars seems unlikely. Foreign investors are wary of Saudi Arabia's ambitious plans and its track record with unfinished projects, like the Jeddah Tower and King Abdullah Economic City. 
announced in 2005 and never completed. Additionally, Saudi Arabia's human rights record deters investors. For example, three local tribesmen were sentenced to death a year ago for protesting the line cutting through their homeland. Potential investors are reluctant to associate with such controversies. While the downsizing of the line hasn't been officially confirmed, just weeks before the Bloomberg report, what would the mini line look like? Even a 2.4 kilometers version of the line would still be quite challenging to build. It's not as difficult as the original plan, but it's still a big project. To put it in perspective, the original line was like two rows of 3001 World Trade Centers. The mini version would be like two rows of 41 World Trade Centers. That's still a major undertaking, especially considering it's planned to be car-free, fully renewable, and supported by advanced artificial intelligence. If they cut the length of the line, other features might also be scaled back. They might need to reduce the height of the mini version to make it more affordable or feasible from an engineering standpoint. There's even a chance they could cancel the entire project. Where would the mini line be built? There are a few likely spots where the mini line could be built. Saudi Arabia has already excavated over 100 kilometers of land for the original line project. Satellite images from 2023 show this excavation, starting in the west, near the Gulf of Aqaba, and extending east, through deserts and mountains, with a clear endpoint in Shig, between two mountain ranges. The mini line would probably be constructed somewhere between these two ends. It makes sense to use some of the existing excavation work. We can rule out a 30 kilometers section because excavation hasn't begun there yet, likely due to the challenging rocky terrain. This leaves us with two main options, a 20 kilometer section to the east or a 100 kilometer section to the west. The western section seems more practical, especially since other NEOM projects are being developed along the coast. Building the mini line at this western point would make use of the already completed excavation work. This location was initially planned to have a massive marina, which has been one of the largest excavation projects in the world, moving around a million cubic meters of earth each week as of 2023. Building the mini line here would ensure that this significant amount of pre-dug land wouldn't go to waste. Another potential location for the mini line is further east, near a new town called Gal. This area has seen recent development with facilities such as sports pitches, schools, and homes. There's also a second town nearby with plants and factories designed to support line construction. Building the mini line here would provide better access to workers and construction materials and is conveniently located on the coast between other Enioman sites like Sindala Island and Oxagon. Interestingly, we found this section of the original excavation site that appears deeper and more active than the rest. This area, with numerous vehicles present in satellite images, measures about 2.37 kilometers long, which is very close to the 2.4 kilometers length of the mini line. So what do you think? Is the line being downsized? And if so, where might the mini line be built? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.